So we're now in Capitol Hill. You good? The first part yeah. of this, it's pretty easy to loot without right there. any great risk, and so that's what we're going to do. Thanks for the seat, but, but eventually we're going to come to an area where there is a sequence of WLF. I'm going to show you buildings. where they are there's and what's behind. involved there, but in general, I think you should so, simply sneak through this really entire wrong. area. Yes, yeah. you're giving up a certain amount of loot, you think there were gonna be this many of but if you've done the oh, maximum so loot path in downtown, Does you'll already anything? have a lot of stuff. No? In general, you're not going to need it. And unless you're prepared to learn a stealth kill-all route for this area, then it's probably not worth the investment of resources, bullets, and everything. Dina, fresh blood. I'm ready. Now notice, when we got to this patch of blood, Ellie said, Dina, fresh blood, and pulled out her gun. There is a runner upstairs. Uh, we're going to go up and get it. But note, some people just kind of blindly run up the stairs without paying attention. As soon as you hear that line, Ellie will equip her shortgun. It doesn't matter what you are currently holding. She will pull out the shortgun. So if you already have a bottle equipped, she can unequip it. And then you won't have it available to throw. So just remember to re-equip the bottle before you run up these stairs. And then you can just take care of that whenever easily. Yeah. Shit. Same. trying to smoke me out around here I'm and you can in. replace the bottle that you used too, on the runner here I got a feeling there were more and once they realize we're out of the school and that we killed their fucking friends they'll be out in force looking for us <laughs> these people are not like us what if we've been refugees now if you're full on this stuff, you can decide whether or not you want to craft something or not. There is a complete molly in Capitol Hill, but it's in an area that I'm recommending you sneak past. So I'm crafting a molly here to free up some inventory. If you do decide that you really need to go in and pick up that molly, then you might want to make a health kit there instead of a molly so you're not full when you get to it. This area is another one that takes a bit of time to get to because we have to move the garbage can for it, but it's very worth coming up here because this is the first place that this trap mine appears. If you don't pick it up here, you'll get another chance at it, but not until day two. And the trap mine will be very handy to use in the TV station. So I recommend you pick it up. Was it worth it? Now to get over this yeah. fence, you can either move this trash can there, which is annoying because it takes time and, you know, sometimes gets in your way. Or what you can just the run up here the one in the TV station? and jump Leah. over. Now, once we get close enough to this building here, which is a dry cleaners, we're going to spawn in a group of four enemies. And there's really very little loot there, so there's no need to fight them. I'll show you where they are. As we go, we're just going to kind of 
run around the right side here. They're gonna start. We're gonna start to hear their dialogue in just a second. Just started. Now you can see there's a guy there on the roof. There's a woman right there. And there's two more who are about to walk into this building. We can't quite see them yet. The two that can potentially spot you here are the guy on the roof and the woman, the pipe woman. But as long as you sort of get behind this wall and into this grass and stay prone here, you can simply crawl around this corner and you won't be spotted. So you can see now she's turned away. Let's see if we can see where the other guys are now. We might, they might not quite be visible from this angle. Don't see him yet. They're, they're basically on the outside. They're going to come into the building. So you don't have to worry about them. You see the roof guy is turned away. The pipe lady is walking the other direction. So at this point we are clear. We can just run over here and get past them. Now, once we get here, you'll see there are two WLF right there. You can sneak here. They're not going to see you. They will turn and go away. They're not going to turn back. So you have quite a bit of time to sneak through here. If you ask me, deserters are the worst. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. If they don't want to be here, then they don't want to be here. They're fucking traitors. At least with scars, you know what you're getting. Now I'm going to pause here and go into photo mode just to uh, quickly show you. We haven't dropped down yet, so we haven't actually spawned the, the enemies here, but they're going to spawn in more or less as soon as we drop in. There is a rifleman, a sniper, up on the second floor. He does One of the places he patrols is that broken window that you see right in front of us. There is a guy who is inside this bank across from us. There are two women in this shop here to our right. And... There are also, well, there, there are two guys patrolling sort of in the open area behind this building that we can't really see from here. And then there are two guys who are going to be walking down the staircase as soon as we drop in here. Now, this is an area that has some loot, but again, most of it, I don't recommend you take the time to pick up. It's not worth your time and energy fighting all of these people and risking death because you can simply sneak out. So we simply drop down, go in here, and we're going to head straight this way into this little kitchen area here. And we're going to wait for the two guys that I mentioned who are going to about to come down the stairs. You'll see them walk right there. There's one. There's two, and they're going to have a little conversation about trap mines. And now that he's come out, he's turned, we can get behind him and we can go up the stairs. Now, as I mentioned, there is a sniper guy here, but we have time to go. We can go in and grab this loot, this alcohol, these pills. And by the time we do that, the sniper will be, you can see him right there. We can simply stay crouched 
and we can continue working our way out here. There are some blades here if you want to stop and get them. And then we can simply make our way out here. Uh, what the fuck is this girl? Uh, somewhere in this area. I'm sure she ain't a star. She was riding a horse. <laughs> What I'm demonstrating here is what can happen if instead of going to the right, which is the way that I generally recommend, you go to the left here where we have the garage and the bookstore. You have to be careful going down this whole path because you can definitely be seen by the guy on the roof or the woman. There are three infected in the bookstore to our right, and there's a group of WLF that are coming in. They're going to be spawning in right beyond the bookstore, and I am coming down here and getting into cover behind these trees. You can see there they are. There's five in total here. And we can wait for them to walk past. You do have to be a bit careful here. They don't always have exactly the same path. Most of the time, they all go to the right of this little stand of trees. But occasionally, one will come left, and you'll have to do a little dodging. All we're doing is waiting for them to go past. Shoot. Get the information and be done with this. Don't get carried away. You can see the That's two women and this right? guy that we're looking at here go into the garage. And then this guy here and one and the other guy at the far distance are going to be patrolling outside. So we just want to wait for this guy to be fully turned away from us. and we can start to move i'm taking a wide route to minimize the chance of being detected but what i'm trying to do is get myself into the bookstore here now once we're in the bookstore this will start to trigger the infected, uh, the clicker in particular. There's two sleeping runners and one clicker here. Who, the clicker wanders around. They're all in this back room. So if you don't want to have any encounters with anybody and just want to keep things quiet, you can come in here. Don't, don't run or the clicker will hear you. You can pick up what's here. There's some canister, there's this magazine. If you don't pick up the magazine here, it, you will get it at the TV station. So you're not really missing out on much of anything. Now there is loot in the back area that if you're gonna go to the hassle of getting this, you probably want to get. And there's not a reliable way to come from this side and make sure you know where the clicker is when you open the door. The risk is you open the door and the clicker is in your face and you wake them up. So what you can do if you uh, want this, we're going to throw a bottle to lure the infected outside. Just right about there should work. And you'll see that you'll hear pounding on the door that's the infected coming out and they are going to start fighting the WLF now doing this does contain some risk you never know what's going to happen sometimes the WLF wins sometimes the infected win sometimes they can actually chase each other into this room so you do have to be careful 
There is another bottle here we can get, though. We're just going to sit here and wait and see what happens. Eventually, when the music settles down, that will tell you that the encounter is over. And then we just have to see if we have WLF or infected alive. You can see, or you, can, you can't see, but you can hear that the clicker is still alive here. Definitely sounds like the clicker is quite nearby. Also sounds like a WLF just died. Okay, scratch one infected. Now that sounded like the WLF one. They will not come back into this back room. They will resume their patrol routes. So we can now get the loot that's here. And the big loot, the only thing that really, in my opinion, makes this whole thing worthwhile is if you crawl under this locked bathroom stall, there is a full molly here. Now, obviously, in my case, I have already crafted three mollies, so I can't pick it up. It's kind of useless, but it's there if you need it. Now, if it is the case that the WLF are all dead, you might want to go into the garage and pick up the loot there. However, it's likely that a number of them are still alive. It's hard to tell how many. And so I would, again, recommend safety and simply crawl out. When you try something like this, it is chaos. People don't behave in predictable ways. Every time is different and you have to be prepared to just adapt. And so if the WLF in particular can be lethal, they do have guns, you need to watch out. I would hate for you to lose a perma run just because you're trying to get a little bit of loot here. Now, having set those off, we have to come down this way, unless you want to go all the way around. You need to watch out for the two that patrol through here. They probably have not been triggered yet. If you ask me, deserters are the worst. I don't give a fuck. If they don't want to be here, then they don't want to be here. They're fucking traitors. At least with scars, you know what you're okay. doing. Okay. They are coming. Like I said, I don't give a fuck. Now, with these two, you can simply wait for them to walk off. If you have a melee weapon like that 2x4 that I picked up, you can kill these two this way. Bottle this one, stick before she has a chance to shoot, and then second stick before he recovers from the stun. This basic pattern of uh, 
bottle or brick and stick is a really good way to kill two closely grouped enemies where you might not otherwise be able to get them both before they start taking shots at you. So, and then if you need it, there's a brick right here. And then after this, you can simply continue the way you were and go through the building as usual.